Did you know that colorectal cancer is among the most common cancers? Welcome to the Inspired Vitality Show. I'm Catherine, and in this video, I'm highlighting colorectal cancer. Colon and rectal cancers are the second most common cause of cancer deaths, and I'm going to share valuable information about prevention and screenings for these cancers in Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month. Have you ever been confused by the words colorectal cancer? I was too. Colorectal starts in the colon or the rectum. These cancers can also be called colon cancer or rectal cancer, depending on where they start. Colon cancer and rectal cancer are often grouped together because they have many features in common. The colon and the rectum make up the large intestine or large bowel, which is part of the digestive system, also called the gastrointestinal system. Most colorectal cancers start as a growth in the inner lining of the colon or rectum. These growths are called polyps. You may have heard that word before. Some types of polyps can change into cancer over time, usually many years, but not all polyps become cancer. The chance of a polyp turning into cancer depends on the type of polyp it is, and there are many different types of polyps. If cancer forms into a polyp, it can grow into the wall of the colon or rectum over time, and the wall of the colon and the rectum is made up of many layers. Colorectal cancer starts in the innermost layer and can grow outward through some or all of the layers. When cancer cells are in the wall, they can then grow into blood vessels or lymph vessels. From there, they can travel to nearby lymph nodes or to distant parts of the body. The American Cancer Society and the Colorectal Cancer Alliance recommend that people at average risk of colorectal cancer start regular screenings at the age of 45. Now that has changed in recent years. The recommended beginning screening age used to be 50. And until I did research for this video, honestly, I didn't realize that it had changed. That is exactly why Cancer Awareness Months are so important to keep us updated on some of these important changes. I'll put links to the American Cancer Society and the Colorectal Cancer Alliance, as well as the Colon Cancer Foundation in the video description. Now, speaking of screenings, when identified early, colorectal cancer is very treatable. Screening tests can identify abnormalities, early before symptoms have developed, when it may be easier to treat the cancer. There are stool tests and visual exams such as a colonoscopy, and there are pros and cons to each. Now, I'm wondering, have you ever had a colonoscopy? The prep is not fun, let's face it. And I can say as a plant-based eater, the recommended diet leading up to a colonoscopy is challenging. However, any discomfort or changes in eating are well worth early detection. I have had a family member pass away from colorectal cancer, so the importance of prevention touches me personally. Healthy lifestyle practices such as diet rich in fiber and minimal animal products also aid in reducing your risk of developing colorectal cancer. Red and processed meats contain saturated fats, cause inflammation, and increase the risk of colorectal cancer. Bottom line, some may get enjoyment out of eating meat, but it would be irresponsible of me to not tell you that the experts conclude that each 50 gram portion of processed meat eaten daily increases the risk of colorectal cancer by 18%. Getting your screenings and eating meals with plenty of fruits, vegetables, beans, and lentils will help in reducing your risk. Foods create either a pro-cancer environment or an anti-cancer environment in our bodies. Which will you choose? Leave me a comment and let me know if you believe in the combination of a healthy lifestyle and modern medicine to reduce your risk of colorectal cancer. See you in the next video.